Learn ballet at home from the ground up by listening and visualizing the steps. This unique method makes you do the work of learning it rather than having it handed to you. Please stay safe and within your physical boundaries at all times. There is no crash course to learning ballet correctly, and patience truly is a virtue. Ballet Obscura, lecture number two, what you need to start your at-home ballet lesson. Attire. Wear something that is comfortable and will allow you to bend and stretch. Ladies, to get you into the proper frame of mind, you can always put on the traditional solid-colored black leotard, pink tights, and soft ballet shoes. Gentlemen, traditional attire would be black leggings, black ballet shoes, and a white solid color t-shirt. A great second option would be bike pants. Shoes. If you have some soft ballet shoes or are able to procure a pair, great. If not, just wear socks or even go barefoot, as it should not pose an issue with home practice of most steps. If you have ballet shoes or are planning on buying, make note on how they should fit. A properly fitted pair of soft ballet shoes should fit like a glove with very little room to have your foot slip around in. Ballet shoes are available in leather or canvas and both will stretch a bit to conform to your feet. There are numerous brands to choose from, and they have two kinds of soles, full sole and split sole. The split sole has a two-part sole, which can make your foot look better when you point it. The full sole will make you work a little harder to achieve the same result. The choice is yours. Want my advice? Read The Road Less Traveled by M. Scott Peck, and you will understand. Please note, point shoes, the ones that allow you to dance on your toes, are for some time in the future, after you've had a few years experience. That is something that you should only start and do under the supervision of a qualified ballet teacher, and only when they say you are ready. For more information on point shoes, refer to the Ballet Obscura point shoe clip. Hair. Traditionally, and if long enough, hair should be in a ballet bun. This keeps the hair out of the way of the face. For home practice, a ponytail would work just fine. Space needed. About 4 feet by 6 feet at the least. Steps at the bar are more stationary. Some of the center floor steps would need more room, but most steps in the Ballet Obscura Basics series can be done within the 4 by 6 area. A bit more room is always better, of course, and make sure there is nothing breakable close by. Dance floor. For home practice at the beginning, pretty much any kind of flooring will do. To make it easier to do the exercises, if possible, find a place where there is no carpeting. A wood or tile floor will do just fine. Most floors at home do not have a spring to them, like a dance floor at a real dance studio. A hard surface, like your flooring at home, is not safe for a lot of jumping. Injury could easily occur. The jarring that will occur when doing jumps could cause injury to your feet, ankles, knees, and hips. Look up what shin splints are. Due to this, there are very few jumps in the Ballet Obscura series. The few jumps that are included are only to develop an understanding of the mechanics and how they are safely and correctly done. Afraid of scuffing up your floor at home? To get a dance floor at home with a very small investment, you can get masonite, 
also called hardboard. Hardware stores carry it quite inexpensively for a four foot by eight foot sheet. It comes in one eighth inch and one quarter inch thickness. You can put it on top of any hard surface home flooring material. It might not work too well on carpet unless you get a thicker material. Support. Whatever it is, we will call it your ballet bar. You can use a table, chair, handrail, or anything that will give you some solid support when doing your steps. The best height would be about three to four inches lower than your shoulder. When using your bar, make sure to hold it as lightly as possible. In your mind, treat it like a baby bunny. No squeezing. Remember, it is supposed to assist you, not be your crutch. The less you need it when you do your bar exercises, the easier the center floor steps will become. Mirror. If you have a full-length mirror, it would be helpful. Being able to see yourself from head to toe is a good feedback mechanism. Even a mirror that allows you to see part of you would be beneficial. You can set it up to see you from the side or keep it right in front of you depending on what steps you are performing. Now that you have things all set up, you can put your phone, computer, or laptop in a convenient place so that you can hear the instructions to begin your ballet adventure. You can help us get the word out. Give us a like, subscribe, follow, and share. Need a little help? No worries. We offer one-on-one -on -one online consultation and assistance on Zoom. Contact us at balletobscura at gmail.com.